Oh, no, it's so good to have you. And I'm so glad to see that you've been able to star in these movies, actually. Renegades. I I'm really excited about this one because... Um, yeah. I, I, I'm friends sorry, sorry. with Jonathan Sothcott, who who's one of the writers of the movie, and of course his lovely wife as well, who is who is your co-star in the film. Jenny, yeah. yeah, but BFF, did you, did you oh, film yeah. this whole thing during during the pandemic? Yeah, we did, and um, we uh, I did um, the Pebble and the Boy, and that was totally uh, through COVID, and then I, w I went on to uh, do Renegades and. and we were in, we were in a, um, the same situation, so it, it's a uh, it's very it's, it's very they're very strict on um, we heard doing a flow test every day and nobody got hurt nobody caught the the virus so that was lucky but yeah and looking thinking back about it that was quite con con you know confusing what we had to do well yeah because let's be honest I mean your industry Patsy was just completely decimated and. The stories that I've heard, you know, of people both on screen and off screen being left high and dry with no work whatsoever has been truly shocking. It has been shocking. Uh, I think I, I was very blessed because I, I was able to work throughout it. Now, towards the, the year's ending, it's, you know, it would be nice to know what, what I want to do next and what I'm going on to. And so I think COVID may have caught up a little bit in how my life is. Um, but, but obviously people are suffering, losing, losing their things, losing jobs. It's very sad. Yeah, well, I, I read, for example, that you were due to film a big new TV drama with Martin Kemp. And yeah. that has now been put on hold because of COVID. Yeah, that's right. And I was meant to be shooting a, a movie um, with Gerard Dapidou actually mm. at the moment and that's been pushed till next year so it's you know it's heartbreaking but you just gotta yeah. push on through and it will be fine you do but patsy i just sometimes feel like arts entertainment theater music it's it's been the forgotten industry during this pandemic and the problem is with all of the people who work in this industry you're not getting the money from the government because obviously you're freelancers you don't it's not a regular job no, no, that's that's right. You, um, I think, look, landing any part, you're really lucky to get the role because there are two thousand other people mm. coming behind you that want it. So I'm in an industry that is based on rejection. So you kind of get tough into this stuff. But having said that, I, I would, I'm, I'm very excited about Renegades. I think it's a, Nick Moran, it's a fantastic cast. Janine, of course, is in it. And um, I'm really, really proud of it. So um, that's going to be out in February, I think. So I've pretty much coasted my whole way through. I would say that now Panto isn't calling at the moment. It would be nice. <laughs> I don't know they're not. Oh, my God, we need Panto back. I mean, that was another <laughs> devastation of the cancelled Christmas last year. No Panto. I couldn't believe it. I'm sorry to squash your dreams. And is that just, are they just not doing as many Pantos this year because there's still uncertainty? Is that what it's about? Well, I think they're having them. I just don't think they want me in any of them. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Patsy. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that. You're a panto I, legend. I think that the things are in place to really keep people safe. My son is working on a movie at the moment, and then they're, they're tested twice a, a day. Tom Hanks is producing it. They're really, you know, they, they we know how to do it now and be safe. It's just not getting, um, you know, lazy about it and that way things won't get cancelled or pushed away and, and and we can all get on well work no indeed I indeed i mean patsy you're a great survivor of the industry though how have you managed that transition from being a child star to one of the most talked about women in the country to a soap star to a reality star i mean you really have done it all when you look at your decades in the industry yeah. and a lot of people don't achieve that for a couple of reasons either mentally it gets too tough and there's all of the pressures that come with fame you've seen so many people who you knew well and who you came up with succumb to either drugs or, or drink or just the pressure or patsy the industry 
ends up rejecting you. And, and I know you've also seen that happen to so many people who you know and love, and that's equally brutal because they want to keep working and, and the work just isn't there. So what do you think your secret has been to be that great survivor? I think that uh, I've worked every year of my life since I was four, and I'm 53 now. So that's a, a huge, it's a legacy. Now, not all the things were great that I did, but there, there were some really good things I did, and that's having a career. So my attitude and advice to anybody who's, you know, wondering what's going to happen next, you have to remain positive. And I'm the least person. I will always see the bad side, but I really, I meditate a lot and I'm really focusing on my meditation just to bring, you know, bring, bring it to me what, what you want from me, you know, put, to put it out to the universe and you pretty much can get what you want. I love that. Uh, how did you cope in lockdown? Because I believe it was the first time that you were separated uh, from your kids and you found that really tough. Yeah, I mean, for like, it was like for everybody. I mean, the cat and I have sort of, you know, we got married because <laughs> we, 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 we spent so much time in together. He, now he's in great company, but I live in apartment blocks and we have a, a, a terrace and the boys would walk over and shout up to me, you know, are you doing all right? Uh, do you want me to get me fiber for a loaf of bread, please, mum? <laughs> so I'm throwing it out of the, the balcony. But it was it was tough. It was, I think a lot of relationships were really tested during that time. Yeah. But Lennon is actually following in your footsteps, uh, Patsy. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I think he's acting now, right? No, is he's that... actually he's that, no, he's he's got a band. He's in a band. I okay, mean, he's in a band. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. do you feel um, nervous ab about the fact that he is? going to go into this industry and, and you know how tough the industry is. What, my poor innocent little boy? He's, <laughs> my, my toes curl when I think about things that I saw on the road and everything, but, but not my boys. They're, they're, they're really good lads. And he does a bit of modelling on the side to make, just to make some money, but he's a, a guitarist and singer-songwriter. And the band are great. It's, you know, it's, I think they're fantastic, but I would because I'm, I'm his mum. So. No, but I've heard, I've heard good things. I've heard very good things, Patsy. Yeah. Uh, look, we've got the questions pouring in, by the way, from our brilliant GB uh, News viewers, so I want to get to them. Adrian on Twitter wants to know, Patsy, what was your favourite acting role? The fav most, my, my most famous, famous acting role was a film called Angels and Insects, and it starred Mark Rylance, who went on to Oscar glory, and, you know, he's just, you know, he's looked at as one of the greatest actors of our time, and Kristen Scott Thomas, who's also brilliant, was in that film, and um, I got nominated for a lot of awards. It's, um, it's, it's, I think that the fulfillment for me in this industry is to make films that you want to go and see yourself. Uh, you know, I, I, I probably made a dozen that I, I would say that about and the rest, not so much. And I think your choices are really critical and you have to, and then go get it. I, I was totally wrong physically for this part in Angels and Insects, but I wanted that role and, and it happened and it, and it was a wonderful experience. Love that. Uh, Plenty J uh, via our Instagram page, actually. And this is a really interesting question, Patsy. Uh, she asks, what do you think about feminism and how we have gone from equal opportunities for women to women being offended if a man holds a door open for them? What, why is he naked holding it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, what's the lady's lovely lady's name? Uh, Plenty J. Oh, oh, Plenty J. Oh, yes, that's right. I think just take the door being held open. Just take it, yeah. and 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 you know, and th and say thank you. And that's a good. That's putting out positivity all day. Uh, I get out of bed. I put one foot on the, the floor. I say thank you. Second second floor. Thank you. And try and find the positive in in dark, dark situations yeah no good point um sabrina via twitter asks what was it like being married to sorry i've just lost that what was it like being married to liam and do you have any regrets from when the marriage failed 
were we married? Because it was about 22 years ago in my recollection. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, you, know, you know, that's just not a, uh, I understand why, why Sabrina might ask it, but it, that was 100 years ago and I, you know, I haven't seen or spoken to for years. My kids have good, great relationships with their dads, but, you know, I'm, 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 I'm good. You've moved <laughs> on you. and you've done so much better without that man in your life, let me tell you, Patsy. But, yeah, let's I not talk you. about him. Uh, Andy Watt on Twitter asks, and this is also harking back to the past, is there any chance of eighth wonder reforming? Well, I mean, it's kind of like my ears are bleeding thinking about me going in and recording a song because I'm, I'm <laughs> very, very, I, don't, I, I can't sing in key, really. They turned a lot of knobs when we were working. <laughs> but I, what, uh, you remember, anyone ever says that to me about the band, oh, we loved it and we loved I'm Not Scared, that I did with the Pet Shop Boys. And I always think they're taking the pit, can I say, can I swear? Yes, you can. You oh, can. No. It's, after, it's after the war. I, 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 I would, always thought they were taking the piss out of me. And it was like, and I was like, no, no, no. And anyway, you know, 10 years down the road, uh, I want you to, the perfect magazine. It's a new magazine. Katie Grant, who's an uber stylist, genius. You know, she's working with the, the magazine. So they had a party and I went along and literally five people said, oh, they're going to play I'm Not Scared here tonight. Do you know that? that yeah, the, the DJ's got it. It was a, it's a request. And I, I looked, I was with Lennon and I said, right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. And if you, you, you stay, oh, well, no, I want to hear it, Mum, come on. They were, they're a rocking eighth wonder. And, it's, and then I get really embarrassed and don't talk about it. So that's the story to that. So you can't imagine doing it again. And that's what I'm taking from that. <laughs> no, I can't. It's a great song, though. It was a great song. Uh, John, also via Twitter, says, Patsy, you look as lovely as she ever was. If I remember correctly, wasn't your first TV appearance in a bird's eye peas advert? If I'm correct, I remember telling my dad that she was a star in the making. Well, so John, oh. he spotted your talent, Patsy, back in the day. John, John, would you put my name in lights in Hollywood? Would you, <laughs> you know, could we have gone the whole way, John? Working, obviously, not <laughs> the other thing. Um, yes, I was. The uh, under contract to birds I peas till the age of eleven. I love peas now, but um, when I went up for the audition, they they asked me, you know, do you like peas? And I immediately said, oh, no. <laughs> and so <laughs> I'm saying, well, a bit waste of time. But we all she used to take me on the, uh, these castings, and we'd always have a great day. We'd go to Fortnum's and have tea, or we'd, we'd, she, we'd, she'd make something out of it, so it wasn't it. It can have a nasty undertone. I think I and mean, I kept my kids way way out of the public until they were able to say yeah no, we want to do this now but thank you i used to, I, they hated me because i never ever we'd get invitations for um premieres it's like spongebob square pants or something and they spot it and i was like no we'll go on friday when everyone else sees it and i was enemy number one for a long time and recently over the last few years they've said thank you so much i um really appreciate that you know how protective you were. And Bird's Eye, yes, that went on until I was 11. And I'd love to work with them again. I did a 50-year anniversary pea tasting concert or something. <laughs> anyway, um, but it was really great. And I would, uh, I think, it, um, you know, you have to do this. That's, that's what I had to do at the end of the year. I love commercial. it. Still got it. Bird's Eye, get on the phone. My goodness me. And I actually really respect that decision you made about your kids in the early days. Yeah. Give them the choice. It's really important. Uh, Lenny, via GB Views, says, Patsy was in the best ever episode of the Family Tree Show, Who Do You Think You Are? Did she have any idea before she agreed to take part that her family history was quite as interesting as it turned out to be? Well, uh... I had my suspicions, but my mother, you know, was born and raised in Ireland, and so I was thinking, well, maybe it could be, you know, go the other way and sort of, you know, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the war and all, what what happened in Ireland, the, the potato famine and everything. But you know, you're balancing that up with my father, who was involved in organised crime in the '60s with. The two, the, I don't know how he managed to do it because he worked with the Crays and with Charlie Richardson and Reggie Cray. Oh, my soul, it was my brother's godfather, oh and he used to God. write to me all the time. Yeah, 
So, so all of this, I mean, we knew, I knew Reggie was Jamie's god, godfather and stuff, but it just, the way it went back and it was getting worse and worse. And, and I thought, oh my God, I'm going to be related to uh, Jack the Ripper. This is getting so bad. The, for, more and more down Brick Lane. And, and we were going to some horrible cave somewhere where my ancestors had been burnt side of um, London. Love so it. it all ended really nasty, but it could have been awful. And it was, it was one of the, the highest watched then. Yeah. I think, if I it, well, I'm not surprised but, <laughs> it was like that. And Lee via GB Views says, Patsy, I loved you and Nadia Sawala together on Celebrity Big Brother. Even back then, <laughs> in the top three because you were so cool. Are you still in touch with Nadia or anybody else from the series? Because tell me if I'm wrong, Patsy, but I love Celebrity Big Brother. And I'm trying to remember back, wasn't that the series that was really controversial? Wasn't there Katie Hopkins Everyone. and Perez Hilton yeah. and all of that lot? Yeah, you, yeah. I mean, we'd wake up every morning and someone had been thrown off the show. Um, so it was, <laughs> you, know, you just didn't know. And because we didn't have that visual of somebody walking up the stairs and going, which, you know, suggests movement and this, this nightmare will be over very soon, nobody was leaving. There were just people coming in. They <laughs> were like, I said, my, I'm going to be here for the rest of my life. I think my, I think my agents. Like you know, committed me to this nut house, but Naji is amazing, and I, I I haven't I haven't seen her since we were on the show, but I think she's a great girl, and I, I loved her bits. And also, uh, Camille Lee was um, the, the the cute dark haired girl uh, covered in tattoos, and she's just you know she was just so so wonderful and such fun. No. So I just my, my my aim going in there was just to be really boring. I didn't drink. I didn't do anything. I was in bed at nine o'clock. Um, yeah, well, know, that's I, sensible, though, Patsy. That's sensible because it means you emerged with your career intact, as many people <laughs> don't emerge from that show with a career intact. So you did very well. Uh, Patsy, final question for me. I have to ask if yeah. this is true. Did Prince Harry and Prince William once fight over you? Both demanding that you well, give them a hug. No, okay. So very, very briefly, uh, there was a big concert at Wembley Stadium for Stadium for Diana, and uh, different people were inter inter introducing bands. Uh, Keith Sutherland was there, um, Jamie Lee Curtis, all these random people, and I was introducing Kanye, Kanye West, who's one of my favourite artists. And um, the after, after the big show was over, the only the people who were were. Um, but the only, the only people that were reading out, introducing people, excuse me, that were allowed to go to this party. So I'm standing there on my own. It's a very small room. And, and uh, William comes over and he just says very quickly, hello, Patsy, very nice to meet you. And William bounds back home and goes, get off. I want to give her a kiss. And, and so he did. And William said, well, I want one too now. And that was my story. So what, how are you, how you bound it over? Yeah, you, William would come and say, to, to say hi. Yeah. And then... Harry, Harry was having none of this shaking your hand and stuff. <laughs> so he wanted a kiss. And then, Harry, and then William got a hug too. Love it. Love it. That is a story oh, yeah. for yeah. the ages, the Patsy. It has been such a pleasure to speak to you. The Pebble and the Boy, which looks amazing. So that film is out now, Patsy. Is that right? Yeah. Renegades not out until January? Yeah. I think end of Jan. Excellent. Well, look, Can I come again? Yeah, again I was going to talk say, to you again. We'll have to speak to you yeah. again with Janine and Jonathan then because that's going to be a great exactly. film. So do Huge. come back. But Patsy yeah. Kensett, it has I'd been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.